Since Meghan Markle married Prince Harry, royal watchers have often remarked that her sister-in-law Kate is looking noticeably more glamorous. Now, I can reveal why. The Duchess of Cambridge has secretly drafted in a talented stylist who has been advising her on her wardrobe. Out go the stiff coat dresses and home county's lady look. In comes a more modern, sleek style, such as the £800 Gucci pussy bow blouse and wide-legged trousers she wore for an engagement earlier this month. Her new advisor is Virginia Chadwick Keeley, an aristocratic 36-year-old former editor at Vogue magazine. Known as Ginny, she is an old friend of Prince William and Kate, and attended their wedding at Westminster Abbey in 2011. Ginny is Catherine's secret weapon, a royal source tells me. She has made a big difference to the Duchess's wardrobe for public engagements and has helped give her a whole new sense of confidence. Catherine has been really impressed and is very grateful for her help. Ginny is the daughter of a third Lord Strathalmond and has two daughters, Nancy, four, and Maggie, two, with her old Etonian husband, Oliver Chadwick Healy. Ginny and Ollie were at St. Andrew's University with William and Kate, and both women studied history of art. Natasha Archer, who usually helps Kate with her wardrobe, is presently on maternity leave. Ginny, who left Vogue in 2018 after 12 years, wrote about her experience at William and Kate's wedding. To my great surprise, I found myself included in the fashion reviews as one of the best-dressed wedding guests, boasted Ginny, who wore an Amelia Wickstead watermelon pink skirt and a bubblegum pink trapeze sleeve silk top. Royal protocol had to come first, but I wanted to feel like I had an identity amid the sea of celebrities, friends, military personnel, foreign members of state and, of course, the royal family. But she added, to my mother's horror, I didn't wear tights. How very daring. F1's Lewis still single-minded. He courted Pussycat Dolls singer Nicole Scherzinger for eight years and has been linked to her fellow pop stars Rihanna and Rita Ora, but Formula One champion Lewis Hamilton will not be settling down just yet, according to his father. Anthony Hamilton, who made huge sacrifices to support his son's talent for motor racing, tells me, I don't think Lewis is the marrying kind. And he seems almost to have given up hope that Lewis, 34, will provide him with a grandchild. It would be nice to have some grandkids, says Anthony. Hopefully, he will get married and give me some one day, but I can't see that happening any time soon. Even Jody's man didn't recognize her. Jody Kidd's natural blonde hair played as much a part in her rise to modeling stardom in the 90s as her razor-sharp cheekbones. Now, the 40-year-old has ditched one of her trademark features, by dyeing her wavy locks chocolate brown. It's something I've wanted to do my whole life, but I've always been petrified, she confides at the Essential Antwerp store launch party in Sloan Square. Jody showed off her new look, teamed with a yellow jacket and floral dress. Jokingly, she adds, maybe it's a midlife crisis? Her boyfriend, the dashing former Royal Marine Joseph Bates, is struggling to adjust to the new look Jody. He was picking me up earlier today. I said on the phone, I'm crossing the King's Road now, and had to say, you're literally driving past me. He slammed on the brakes and was like, oh, my God. He didn't recognize me at all. But he loves it. Britain's best-known high street tycoon, Sir Philip Green, seems to have quit this country. I can reveal the top shop owner has not spent a single day in the UK this year and has told friends he might never return. He feels he's been treated appallingly and has no desire to come back, one of the billionaire's chums tells me. He doesn't want to be in Britain if he's not wanted here. The early poly retailer has faced allegations which he strongly denies, that he bullied and sexually harassed staff. There were also calls for him to be stripped of his knighthood over his sale of BHS for £1 to a multiple bankrupt with no shop experience. At least Sir Philip, who previously lived at the Dorchester Hotel in Mayfair from Monday to Friday, can spend more time aboard his £100 million superyacht, Lionheart, with his wife, Dina, a tax resident of Monaco. Prince Philip turns 98 in June and has retired from royal duties, 
but he is nevertheless lending his name to a cause close to his heart. I can reveal that a new organization is to be launched in May called the Prince Philip Gordonson Foundation. It will raise money for scholarships at the Scottish boarding school where he and the Queen sent their children. Princess Anne will speak at the launch party, a courtier tells me. It's possible that the Duke of Edinburgh will also attend, but we won't know until nearer the time. The smart set's talking about. Arty Bikini era Salaya. Melissa Odebash's stylish swimwear is worn by everyone from Pippa Middleton to the Kardashians, and now her daughter, Alaya DeSantis, has designs on the art world. Although still in her second year at Camberwell Art College, Elias' 60s-inspired collages are selling for hundreds of pounds. I've put a hold on sales because I'm planning my first solo exhibition in London this year, she tells me. I want everyone to be able to view them properly first. The amiable student, 21, whose father is businessman Nicholas DeSantis, attended £19,950 a year more house in Knightsbridge before transferring to Hampstead's Fine Arts College. Being a designer's daughter can cause complications. Two years ago, Melissa was nearly sued by fashion label Azadine Alaya because she named one of her pieces after her daughter, who shares its name. A familiar face on the London party circuit, Alaya has fallen for Italian business student Mario Manca. She gushes, when I first met him, I thought, this is my future husband.